Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. So we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rush Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. And hit that notification bell so you never miss our video. I've made a ton of transfer portal videos this offseason about a ton of college basketball teams. But one team I've overlooked, and that has been a massive oversight, is the Louisville Cardinals. I have not made a Louisville transfer portal video so far this offseason. And somebody pointed that out to me. Christian Fernandez asked for a video request of a Louisville Cardinal transfer portal video, specifically on the recent addition that they have made on Kayshawn Pryor. I appreciate the suggestion, Christian Fernandez. And now the video is finally here. And we got a lot more to talk about with the Louisville Cardinals than just Kayshawn Pryor because of the fact Pat Kelsey, the new head basketball coach in town in Louisville, has had to do a lot in the transfer portal this offseason to build a roster once Kenny Payne was fired. Basically, every single team that has had their coach fired this offseason has lost basketball basically their entire roster, and Louisville is no exception. So they had to build an entirely new team, and I think Pat Kelsey is definitely on the right track with this recent addition of Kayshawn Pryor, the former South Florida forward, announcing that he is committed to the Louisville Cardinals. But I'm going to go over every single addition that Louisville has brought in so far this offseason, and whether I believe that Pat Kelsey has built a good enough roster for next season where Louisville can possibly be an NCAA tournament team in his first season as head coach. Now, we know that Louisville... The the last two seasons have been some of the worst years of their entire program. Kenny Payne, he came in to be the next head coach after Chris Mack was fired, and things did not go well. Some people maybe thought he could have deserved more time because Louisville had been struggling once Rick Pitino was fired and all the allegations went down. But still, Louisville was not as bad before Kenny Payne got the job, and Kenny Payne made them a whole lot worse. So it is pretty justifiable why he got fired. But Pat Kelsey was not a guy that a lot of people people were expecting to get the head coaching job. There were other names that seemed like they were more likely. A lot of people thought Dusty May was going to get the job, but he took the Michigan job. Then Pat Kelsey became available. And the more and more you look into Pat Kelsey, he is a guy that a lot of people believe is ready for a head coaching job in a major college because he was really good at Winthrop. And instead of going from Winthrop to a bigger school just like that, he went to the College of Charleston and had more success there at a slightly bigger school. And that has probably set him up for now he is ready for this type of job in this environment in college basketball. And Pat Kelsey has hit the ground running at Louisville, and he is determined to make the roster very good for next season. And the recent addition that they have just landed is Kayshawn Pryor, the former South Florida forward. Joe Tipton tweeted out yesterday that the six foot ten junior has committed to the Cardinals. He averaged 13 points and eight rebounds per game this past season. And what's so big about Kayshawn Pryor is that his trajectory, even though he is a junior, is on the upswing swing because prior to being at South Florida he was not on anybody's radar at any major college in college basketball. He was I think at a junior college and then he goes to South Florida and he has a breakout season. Look at his numbers the first two years in college. One point per game, two points per game, barely played any minutes but this past season in only 26 minutes per game he shot 45% from the field, 35% from three and 82% at the line and I believe that sometimes players develop a little bit later. Guys don't all always just come into college basketball and have a lot of success right off the bat or even have that freshman to sophomore league. Kayshawn Pryor, it took him until his junior year. And the fact that he is six foot ten and can shoot the basketball that well from the three-point line and from the free throw line shows he's going to be a dangerous player in the ACC next season. Yes, he doesn't do a lot on the blocks and steals department, but I don't really think that's all that important if he can give Louisville enough scoring from the outside and enough versatility being surrounded by the other players that Louisville was brought in this offseason, and I know some people will say he only averaged 13 points in the American Conference, but the American Conference isn't awful. It's not like it's a really small conference like the Patriot League or something like that. The American Conference has some decent teams in it, and I think Kayshawn Pryor definitely showed enough in this past season in college basketball to show he is ready for a leap to the ACC. And Louisville has had one of the best offseasons of any team in college basketball. According to this article right here, Louisville has had the seven 17th best transfer portal class in college basketball because Louisville does not have any high school recruits committed. If you look at 247 Sports, they've brought in 10 transfers so far and no high school commits. So since this is Pat Kelsey's first season on the job, he probably feels that it's just smarter to go after transfers since there's so many of them out there instead of recruiting high school guys that there's not that many available. And most of those guys are probably going to go to schools that are in better shape right now. Louisville, we know they're one of the best schools in college basketball. They are a top 10 program 
program historically, but right now things are kind of tough. And even though Louisville's got a lot of NIL, it's just best not to dip into those high school waters when Pat Kelsey needs to build up the repertoire of getting Louisville back on track and build those high school connections in the area in the Midwest to probably be able to bring in some high school commits in the 2025 and 2026 class. It's tough to just build through the portal, but it is definitely more possible today than it used to be because if you can bring in the right players through the portal, even if they have no prior chemistry together, they can still have success. And when you look at the top acquisitions Louisville's brought in, Chucky Hepburn is probably the most notable name that Louisville has brought in. The guard from Wisconsin, the six foot one guard, has had multiple years of starting at a major conference team with the Wisconsin Badgers, and he has had success. He's never really improved all that much over the three seasons that he's been a starter at Wisconsin, but he's been a steady player. He's been getting better as a shooter steadily in college basketball, and he is a guy that just doesn't make too many mistakes. He's a good facilitator. Even though he is a little bit on the shorter side, Chucky Hepburn is not a bad player to have on your team, and he will be one of the better point guards in the ACC next season, and I believe it's a big loss for the Wisconsin Badgers. A.J. Store going to Kansas as well was tough for Wisconsin, but I think Chucky Hepburn almost might be a bigger loss because replacing a point guard can be very tough, but Wisconsin's loss is Louisville's gain, and I think he is the best transfer that they have brought in when it comes to name recognition. But an underrated player they brought in is Javon Hadley from Colorado because a lot of people, they were talking about Cody Williams because of the fact he was a five-star recruit, and then other people were talking about Eddie Lampkin and a few of the other players that they have. But Javon Hadley was a very underrated player. He's playing next to K.J. Simpson on the Buffaloes as well, another player that got a lot of attention with that Buffalo team last year that made the NCAA tournament. Javon Hadley shot over 40% from three, and he was a guy that averaged over 10 points per game. Just a quiet player, doesn't really show up too much when it comes to national headlines, but I think he is another player that's going to fit in very well with Pat Kelsey's system, and I think he should have success next season. Terrence Edwards Jr. is going to be a guy that I think can fit right in in the ACC. He played at James Madison this past season, but the Dukes were a good team. They knocked off Michigan State in the non-conference, and he's a bucket getter. Pat Kelsey definitely made the right decision to land him through the portal because of the fact he is a six foot six guard so he's got enough size to be able to play the two and three positions in college basketball for Louisville next season even being in a bigger conference I like the addition a lot and then after that the other additions that Louisville has brought in none of them really are significant names but he has brought in three guys from Charleston to follow him to Louisville a center in James Scott a shooting guard in Rain Smith and also another guard in Kobe Rogers all three of those guys probably won't be nowhere near the best players on the team next season, but I do think it's important for Pat Kelsey to have guys on the team that he has had prior history coaching, and that's going to make it a little bit easier with all of these new faces to have some guys that he is familiar with that know his system and might be able to help the other guys that are coming to the team that are new to Pat Kelsey's system be able to learn the system a little bit better. So I think that's a good decision by Pat Kelsey to have, even if those guys don't end up scoring a lot of points. And then he's also brought in a small forward from Long Beach State, a combo guard from Washington and Corin Johnson. BYU transfer portal center Ali Khalifa. He is redshirting because he has an injury, but he's a guy that will be good in the 2025 season. So that's nice for Louisville to have it. They already have a guaranteed guy for the next season in college basketball, barring him not transferring. We know in this day and age, guys can transfer at any time, but if he stays with Louisville, that will be pretty big. But that is the roster that Louisville has right now. I know it's going to be tough for the Cardinals to be able to really land anybody else at this stage in the game because of the fact there aren't that many high profile names left in the transfer portal. If Louisville can recruit a couple more bench players to fill out the rest of the roster and have a little bit more depth, that would probably be smart for the Cardinals. But Louisville, I think their roster is not top 25 good, but the fact that Louisville is in the conversation to be an NCAA tournament team next season shows how good of a job Pat Kelsey has done in the portal. And Kayshawn Pryor, he is a guy that has the potential to be the best player on the team next season. Will he end up being the best player on the team next season? Probably not. I would probably go with it being Terrence Edwards or Chucky Hepburn or even a guy like Javon Hadley, but Kayshawn Pryor still has a lot of potential. He's a good shooter. He's still growing and developing his game in college basketball. His growth that he showed at South Florida this past season was huge, and I think he's a good addition for the Louisville Cardinals. The Cardinals are going to be a much better team next season. It's awesome for the Cardinals that they've got their guy, Pat Kelsey. I think he's going to do a good job with Louisville. The Cardinals are in a good situation, in my opinion. Even with all this realignment in the ACC, a lot of people are worried that the conference could end up imploding. 
I think for now, anyway, Louisville is in a good spot because the ACC doesn't have as many good teams in it right now in college basketball than the Big Ten and the SEC and the Big 12, where it will be much tougher to build a team from the ground up. I think Pat Kelsey can turn Louisville around in year one. I think there's around a 50-50 shot that they're an NCAA tournament team. I don't think it's a guarantee. But again, the fact that we're having this conversation that they could end up being an NCAA tournament team after how bad they were the previous two seasons, kudos to how good Pat Kelsey's done in the transfer portal so far. Maybe he can bring in another backup player or two. But I like the core four of Kayshawn Pryor, Javon Hadley, Terrence Edwards, and Chucky Hepburn. And with the other players he's brought in, including the three guys from Charleston, I think there's enough there to make Louisville a pretty solid team in college basketball next season. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about Kayshawn Pryor transferring to the Louisville Cardinals and whether you think he'll take another leap in college basketball next season and have a lot of success for Louisville next year and how good of a job you think that Pat Kelsey has done to flip the Louisville roster after the last two years have been absolutely awful for the Cardinals and whether you believe that Louisville could end up being an NCAA tournament team next season. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I'll see you next time.